All right, guys, so now we're ready to actually download these files. Um, so instead of printing these files here, we're, we need to have some logic that basically downloads this file. So we're going to do this with Bodo. So we need to Google um, Bodo3 how to download file. Uh, let's try this one, how to save object to a file using Bodo3. So we're, we're not using client, we're using resource. So I'm looking for a resource example. So this is what we need. Boto 3 now has a nicer interface than client. Yeah, so client's kind of like an older uh, method of doing it. This Boto3.resource is the newer way. So I'm just going to copy this here. So we already have a resource object, right? We ha have it called S3. We also have a bucket, and it's 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 called my bucket, so that's good. So this is the piece of logic that we need here to put here. So my bucket dot download file. So the key is um, this piece of information, and actually we can access that by just saying file dot key. And we actually, we manipulated the key to make it look in this format, but to download it, we just need the key. So it should just be able to say file.key, and then local file name. This is basically where we're going to download this. So let's just say, let's make a new variable called download folder. And just pick somewhere on your computer to save this. So I'm going to save it in this YouTube videos folder. Actually, let's make a new folder called uh, Landsat Data. And I copy this as text and paste it in. I'm going to put an R in front to make it a raw string. So we're going to want to download or download folders where uh, we want to download it. So os.path.join download folder. And then we need to give this file a name. So I think we can just say file.key. And that's going to join this location with uh, this file key. So the key is going to be the name and the location is going to be here. I think. Let's try that. Um, so yeah, we need to say let's just say downloading uh, let's just say VSIS3 image path and then basically just copy this whole thing okay let's see if that works should see pretty quickly if it starts downloading stuff no no such file or directory Landsat data Yeah, something's wrong with these paths here. Maybe if I just say this. I think it has to do with the slashes. Let's just try that. If this works, I'll explain what it's doing. First, let me just see if it works. Mm -mm. Hmm. All right, that didn't work. What is wrong with this? E. YouTube Landsat data. Oh, 
it's trying to make it's looking for all these directories because there's slashes in the name I see what's going on so it's look we we need to give it Landsat data and then we need to give it this piece of information not all these slashes leading up um, okay so what's a smart way to do that let's just I think why don't we try print um, I want to split out the image path into a list so if I say um, print psis3 image path dot split and I want to split it on slashes. Let me just see what this returns. Why did it try to, oh. We gotta comment all this out. Okay. Sorry guys, didn't prepare this beforehand, but I think it's it's good that you can see mistakes that I make. Okay. So this is what we want. So now we can easily say so this is a list now. So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the eighth eighth item. So let's make, instead of just printing this, let's make this a list. List equals. And now we're going to try downloading. Actually, take this out of, no, yeah, take it out of this and put it in this if statement. I'm just doing that because we don't want to do this for every single um, scenario because it's kind of pointless to keep doing the same thing over. Alright, so now what were we doing? This we need to say VSIS3 list and it's item 8 in that list. Right, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So, I think that'll do it. All right, let's try that. All right, now we're getting somewhere. So you can see it, it's, it says downloading this file, and now Boto3 is doing its thing, it's downloading it. And you can see it's it's like this temporary file as it downloads. So this, this will change once it's finished. You'll see. Okay, so the first one finished. Now it's doing the second one. So I think I'll just stop this after we download uh, three. Alright, two down. So something else we probably should put in our code. We need to make sure the dates are the same. But before we uh, add it to the composite band tool, we need to make sure we're adding the right date bands because there's going to be another B2 coming in here. Um, and we want to make sure we don't combine that B2 with this B3 and B4. You know what I mean? Like We have to make sure these dates, the acquisition dates, are the same before we do the composite band. Okay, so you can see we have three downloaded, but now we're getting another B2 coming in. But you can see the date's different, so I'm just going to cancel this now. Um, yeah, let's pick this up in the next video.